Hello, uh, welcome to the Syncos session. Uh, my name is Ray. I'm the sales director of Syncos. Today I'm going to be talking about why Syncos is de developing the whole GPU computing product line and the GPU trend we are seeing and uh, Syncos, Syncos are focused target market. So let's get started. So before I start, I'd like to uh, talk a bit about why GPUs. So you might have heard about the term AI AIoT. It's actually a, a uh, acronym for Artificial Intelligence of Things. So it's a, a word uh, combination in combination of IoT and AI. So IoT is there to gather useful data uh, collected from sensors, from cameras, from uh, devices, while AI then transforms the, the, this data into useful information and feed this useful information to uh, the machines. By doing that, machines are able to achieve more intelligent decision making, uh, improve human machine interaction processes, and also to enhance data management and analytics for future improvement. So why is GPU so critical and essential for this kind of AIoT applications? So here I've made a very simple uh, comparison of the uh, conventional C how conventional CPU works and how GPU works. So on the left side, you can see CPU is designed and optimized to process and compute more complicated and more challenging tasks in serial. So that means one after another. And whereas the GPU is designed and optimized to process uh, similar and easier tasks in parallel. So a lot of them, a lot of similar tasks uh, simultaneously. So a lot of times we are, when we are talking about AI applications, we are involving uh, visualizations. So here we are talking about image processing, we are talking about video processing. Um, so the, the, uh, the processing unit needs to be able to reach and access to this multiple data point and have them processed and computed simultaneously. So GPU comes in as a perfect fit for this kind of computation because it makes uh, this kind of um, computation much more efficient and it really shortens the, the process time. Of course, the uh, CPU can do exactly the same job, but since it's uh, processing tasks one after another, so it's much more less efficient, so it can uh, maybe take days or weeks for the whole computations uh, to be done. Machine learning. What is machine learning? You must have heard about machine learning uh, in the recent years a lot. So machine learning is about humans feeding data uh, to the machines. So machines are then able to uh, recognize the, the pattern given uh, from this data. So next time when, he, when they see the similar pattern, they are able to identify and recognize based on this given data and make a decision according to that. The backbone of machine learning is neural network. Okay, so neural network is consisted of millions of parameters. Then GPU comes in a good place, as it's a perfect fit again, to be able to process these millions of parameters simultaneously, really shortening uh, the computa computation period and time for, for the whole process. Of course, CPU is able to do that, but uh, like previously mentioned, in a much uh, slower uh, way. So that's why, um, you know, besides um, just uh, having graphical performance of, uh, from this uh, GPU, GPU processing unit, it's now able to achieve much more uh, tasks. It's, it's, it's a perfect fit for video image processing and also machine learning. GPU trend. Okay, so uh, these are the reports generated from Allied Market Research about uh, GPU market size. So back in 2019, the GPU, size, the GPU market size is about 20 billion US dollars and it's estimated to reach around 200 billion US dollars in just as short as eight years. So that's like a 10 times growth in eight years. So GPU is just gonna skyrocket. Uh, you know, this technology is just gonna skyrocket and be uh, implemented in all the applications around us. We all know NVIDIA is the key player and the main player. It basically dominates uh, the whole market now. Um, back in 2020, um, the, the revenue reached was 11 billion US dollars and just in as short as one year, it's, re it's reaching 17 billion US dollars. Of course, it's, uh, it's including artificial intelligence, high performance computing, autonomous vehicles, robotics, and mobile devices as well as uh, the GeForce series for gamers. 
But you know the GeForce series uh, cards like G, uh, RTX 2080, RTX 3080, these are widely adopted in various industrial, industrial applications too. Let's look at the uh, AI driven hardware market. So uh, on the lighter blue bars, you have the traditional CPU ASIC FPGA structured computers. And uh, for the light, uh, darker blue bars, you have GPU uh, computer um, products. So in 2021, it's estimated to reach about 28 billion US dollars, and it's estimated to reach uh, around 55 billion US dollars in five years. So that's like almost 100% increase in, within just five years. I'd like to read out the two quotes from these two AI specialists. Um, first one is Andrew Nink. It is difficult to think of a major industry that AI will not transform. This includes healthcare, education, transportation, retail, communications, and agriculture. There are surprisingly clear paths for AI to make a big difference in all of these industries. Another quote from Sabine Howard, co-founder of uh, Robot. Ro robots are not going to replace humans. They are going to make their jobs much more humane. Difficult, demeaning, demanding, dangerous, dull. These are the jobs robots will be taking. So based on these two quotes from these two AI experts, it basically implies um, AI is just going to be implemented in, um, in just about everywhere, you know, across all the market sectors including automobile, business, education, finance, manufacturing, gaming, government, healthcare. So what are Syncosis target markets, the, the, the markets we are working on? I've categorized uh, basically into three different um, sectors. So the first one is smart factory, followed by intelligent transportation, and then public safety, public security. So when I say smart factory, I mean, uh, you know, uh, vision guided robotics, automated uh, optical inspection, object identification, vision, uh, vision positioning system. A lot of times computers are installed in a closed cabinet uh, underneath the robotics. So there's uh, uh, sometimes space constraint. So customers are requesting compact small footprint computers. Of course, you are looking to connect uh, the computer with many external cameras with um, different camera devices. So I think the high-speed camera ports are, are requested. So we have USB 3, we have a lot of USB 3, we have a lot of uh, RJ45 LED ports. And if you need the, the computer to supply power to your cameras, it's also possible because we have additional module, a PoE module to add on uh, to inside of the computer to make the LAN ports a PoE port, supplying power to your external devices. Multiple digital I.O., digital input and output, and uh, system integrators are a lot of times re requesting uh, the PCIe expandability for additional um, motion card, you know, additional um, analog input card, additional automation cards to be added on to the machines, to the computers. So the corresponding products we have is G1000 and DS1300, and both of these products, you are able to integrate additional graphics card, uh, one with MXN and one with PCIe, into the computers, making uh, the, the edge computing uh, with really, really powerful graf graphical and GPU performance. The second market sector uh, we are looking at here is intelligent transportation. So here we are talking about vehicle, train, autonomous driving, environmental monitoring for uh, train station, metro station, bus station, airports, and of course, uh, object screening. So the, the demands here are slightly different. So sometimes it's requesting compact. So we have GM1000 and uh, M12 connection because uh, the environment is not likely to be too friendly. So we, are, we can be uh, encountering a lot, a lot of times the uh, high shock vibration, right? So M12 is a connect, uh, lockable connection for the um, LAN port, Ethernet uh, ports. So then we have the lockable solutions, uh, solutions available and power ignition. If you're looking to connect the computers to car battery, the vehicle batteries, uh, for the computers to be able to do a delay power on or delay power off, we have a small module to be added on. And once you have added on, then you can connect to um, the car battery. 
high resist, resistance for shock vibration, high temperature range supported so that the products can go up to 70 degrees Celsius, and we have the industry certifications ready. So if you're, look, you're, if you're talking about uh, railway, we have the, the ENC uh, certification done for the railway. Uh, if you're talking about vehicle, we have the uh, ENC certification done for the uh, vehicle markets. So for you to, um, to spec in and introduce our products to these sectors with no hassles. Last but not least, um, the, the uh, last category will be public security. So here we are referring to uh, surveillance in general. So public safety, object tracking and detection, real-time post estimation, video analytics. So again, uh, the, the computers are we are looking at here are to be connected with multiple LAN, uh, cameras, POE cameras. And in order to process the videos and uh, to analyze the video files, you're requesting a large storage capacity, so we have a lot of um, um, SATA sockets for you to add additional hard drive SSD for really a large storage capacity. And uh, RAID functions are available, and of course PCI expandability for you to add a video capture card, a frame grabber card, you know, for uh, video files recording. And easy, easy maintenance as these uh, computers are to be installed outdoor. The corresponding products are GB3000 if it is stationary, and if it's um, if you're looking to uh, to acquire like an edge computer, then DS1300 will also be uh, your, your choice. Okay, so that's an overview of uh, the trend of GPU we are seeing, and also um, the single target markets. So thanks very much for listening. Thank you.